don't have any towers? Well, we're good these all. CJ! Yes. Well, it's me and Charles Bray and King Forbes. <laughs> Well, we just came back from the home. We did uh, we did a, a, a New York stage review at the home. <laughs> All right. Now he'll be what I will. Uh, how, how did that go, Pat? Uh, uh, how did what? How, how, did, how, how did that go with Jeanette? Oh, well, you know, she pretty <laughs> much just stared at the... Uh, yeah. Turn here, then. Yeah. We're, pu we're pulling into Charlie's driveway right now. But uh, you know what, CJ? She looked great. Uh, Charlie said that they take good care of her. God damn, it's a nice place. Boy, I'll tell you. Um, it's, it's you know, sad to see uh, people our age in there that, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Of yeah. course. Well, uh, Pat, how was uh, uh, Charlie's reaction to uh, when he's... Uh, he's you know when you guys met. <laughs> he came out here and lifted me off the ground and swung me around a couple of times. Yeah, I did. I certainly did. held it he, up in the heel. He actually came out with about a hundred foot uh, tether on him, uh, an oxygen tether. He yeah. got a, all wound around his legs and uh, tripping over it. <laughs> like, God damn, Charlie. Oh, good. <coughs> Everything went well. Ah, uh, beautiful flight, and King had a great flight. I had a great flight. I got a few cramps on the way. Likewise. And uh, but but other than that, and I was real tired because I don't. I, we've only been getting a couple hours sleep here and there. And me, oh, yeah. and, me and King got up at four o'clock this morning, and we said, "Let's go see Charlie. Let's go right now." <laughs> it was still dark. So, uh, let's see. I, Five thirty. What? It is. It is. It's twelve yeah. o'clock, and, and and so you do you have to go for your stuff today? Yeah, I go in about uh, about a half hour. I oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm fine. Well, how how did you and King meet? Where where did you meet? Well, you know, I got into the airport, <laughs> and um, I was able to. He came in about an hour and a half after me, so I was able to. Um, to get my rent a car, I got a big old Mercedes, not a big Mercedes, I got a C300. Uh, I paid extra I paid extra money for it, but I figured since we're gonna be driving all over the damn place, you know. I locked it, Dean. Huh? I locked it. I locked it? I did. I didn't have locked in. Just a minute. He got me locked in, CJ. Good. You need to be locked in. You need to be locked up. I'm a big parts for jailhouse. So then we and then, uh, well, so then I went over and got the rental car and left it there at the lot. Got took the Hertz bus back to the airport. As soon as I got back, King was in, so I picked him up. We took the bus back to Hertz, picked up the car, and uh, drove to our hotel, which was about oh seven ten minute drive from the airport. It's real close by. Nice hotel, beautiful hotel. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it it drizzled a little bit yesterday, but and it's it's overcast today, but it's not raining. It's nice. It's, uh, and what, what are your plans for the day? Well, we're getting ready. We're gonna leave Charlie and go back. Um, uh, we'll probably get back two or three this afternoon into um, into Charlotte. I want to get in there before the uh, rush hour because we hit the rush hour coming out here, and it was terrible. Um, and then, and then take a shower and all that. We just got. Uh, I got up and just, just decided. I, I said if we don't get going now, we never will. And uh, so, so we we had breakfast down at the Ram Sewer Diner. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, all his cronies and we, and we went in there real loud and told them we were gay and Democrats. <laughs> And voted they, for Obama. Uh, told them we voted for Obama. <laughs> and 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 come here, Rip. Half of the goddamn half of the Ramsar Police Department was there. Yeah, that detective the, showed up. The chief. The, the chief, the head detective, 
and uh, Captain uh, Lou Larry. Allen. Lou Allen. They were just uh, pretending that they were La stopping by. La Larry Lou. Larry Lou Allen was a captain, but he's a former, another Marine, see? And, and uh, so, actually, what I did, instead of meeting three police officers, I met half of the Ramsar Police Department. Yeah. Okay, three of the six, huh? Okay. So, on my way, I'm, so I'm, I meet this guy, Larry Lou Allen, Captain uh, Lou Allen. And I call. I was calling him chief, and then I, he's out having a smoke or something, and I walk past the, so the colonel, the real chief. I says, "Oh, you're the chief." I says, "Well, I says I get. I bet you Larry is the real chief." <laughs> he didn't have much of a smile on his face. No, he didn't. He looked pretty sour. Uh, he didn't think that was too funny. Huh? He, he, well, uh, he he was wearing them bird colonel things, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, every everybody's an officer. It's like the town of Bell. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, so, so, Patty, will this, be your, uh, this will be your final time with Charlie? No, we may come back on Monday or Sunday, whatever's going on. But all our pe the people are starting to come in this afternoon. And I really wanted to take this day as a day of rest and everything. But uh, I decided I'd better come down and because uh, Charlie was expecting me, sure. and we want we, we wanted to get that out. We want not uh, not get well, a. You could, get, you could go back today and, and cram out for a while, couldn't you? Exactly. Yeah. Well, we, yeah. Today's our day. The people are just coming in, but I sort of want to just you know take some downtime. Oh sure. You know what I mean? Uh, boy, it's been a go 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 